Yo guys, it's Ayan Wizard. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw a really cute bird. So let's get started. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video. These are the colors you're going to need and I'm using Faber Castle Polychromos. And this is the outline of the bird that we are going to draw. First take your main red pencil and just trace around the eye. Just like this. And then shade a little bit of the top of the eye. And then just leave the small spot at the top. And then shade the rest of the eye. Now take your black pencil and then after that, do the shading, do a little bit of shading on the red you just did. And then take your maroon pencil and then again make one more layer of shading on that. So the eye will have a little bit of tint of red. Now take your black pencil and then do a little bit of shading at at the at next to the eye this is just just a design of the bird we are going to make using this black pencil just make these lines next to the eye now also do the bottom part just like this You have to not just make like a thick, thick lines. You have to just make like shading lines like this. And also a little bit below the eye. And connect both of the lines like this. Okay, now do a little bit of shading on the eye and then do a little bit of, take your color gray and do a little bit of shading in the middle. Now take your reddish orange and now we're going to actually start the red part of this bird. So take your reddish orange and at the top just make a do a light glaze like that. And from the top uh, make dark strokes coming down like this. And then after that, make this triangular shape at the bottom of the eye. I mean above the eye. And then connect both of them like this. But you don't have to connect a little bit of that side because we're going to take our orange, um, we're going to take our red pencil and we're going to lightly do that side. As you can see, I'm lightly doing that side with the white pencil. Now take your reddish orange and make a line here, which is a little below the eye. Now do a little bit of shading off with the reddish brown and take your or take your dark orange and color the beak. Now at the top using the reddish brown again, we have to do a little bit of shading. Make these lines just like this. Now take your reddish purple and at the top of those lines which we just made, just shade a little bit and again with the black. Now with the reddish orange, just make these, just keep on making the feathers like we did before. From the top just like this and now take your white pencil and just blend a little bit in the in the um, red to make it a little lighter 
Now take your reddish purple and then more, do a little more blending at the top and also take your main red and now we're going to continue make a little bit of the feathers. Now take your reddish purple and here just do a little bit of light shading with the reddish purple. Don't press too hard. Now take your main red again and again at the bottom this this bottom part just do a little bit of shading. And now take your reddish brown and just make this line coming like this. So it's like a triangle shape as you can see. Make this kind of triangle shape. And then after that, just make a little bit of dots and that all in the middle. Like this. And then shade lightly on it. Not that dark. Now using our main red shade, not not, not lightly, not darkly, darkly, but mediumly shade it. And then make a gradient from the top red between this red at the bottom. This triangle part red. I'm basically extending the red from the top to the bottom triangle. And just do a little bit of dark lines at the bottom. And then now hardly shade everything. So it will it will look same to the top red. Why are we doing section? Uh, why, why are we doing it section by section? Because the section at, at the bottom of a section, there is a small dark line which which we need to put in the bird. That's why we are doing section by section. Now take this color and then make these lines, and then now take your main red and then and then do the same thing as you did for that top triangle, like this. You can move your paper like this also if you want to make it easier. Now take your white and blend it a little from the right, from the left. I take your dark magenta and make this pointy uh, triangle bit as you can see at the right and shade in a little bit using your main red. darkly shade like this and again take your dark ma magenta and make the triangle bit a little dark and also the bottom bit a little dark now take your dark magenta and make this long line and give it some dimension like this and then fill it in like this and then do a little shading at the bottom and take your reddish brown and then after that make these small lines and shapes like this and now take your dark magenta again and do one more layer over that and take your white and just blend like this now take your dark magenta again and make dark lines like this and take your dark pink and then just do this line Now take your white and blend everything like this. Now again with your main red, extend the red a little bit but with light lines. So we are going to just make the rest of the lines but lightly. So like this as you can see. And make one small more darker line at the top as you can see. And then now using, uh, now just make it a little darker as you can see. And now take your reddish orange and then extend the top part which you already did. Now take your main red and then at the corner we are going to make this triangular shape kind of. And then we are going to extend a little bit to the bottom. 
and now take your reddish orange and connect both of it the purple part and the orangish red part now take your dark orange and then make this like light um shading and take your reddish purple on it to make it more darker and then after take then take your main red and make this line and make it a little thicker and blend it with the black and take your dark orange and make that shading and take your reddish brown and make some random shapes and again with your main red complete everything like this and then finally you are done with your drawing